Today I'm going to be checking out Focus Track, which has three modes Spotlight 2.0, Point of Interest or POI 3.0, and Active Track 5.0. This will be the fourth feature I've covered in the intelligent modes for the new DJI Air 3. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to take a hike through this small valley, or coulee as we call them, and check out these three modes, along with the obstacle avoidance. The first one I'm going to check out is Spotlight. And again, you can use the 1x wide-angle lens or the 3x telephoto lens on any three of these modes. And we're going to start Spotlight. With Spotlight, when, as soon as you draw your box around the subject, like that, if it'll take it, yes, I think it took me. Let's get in a little closer. A little bit there. See, it, it didn't. Okay, as soon as you draw your box around your subject, you're in spotlight. So now it'll just follow me as I'm walking down this trail. As you can see and you have full control you can run the gimbal a little bit to center up your frame deal I wonder what happened if I walk right under it let's see what it'll do then I'm gonna try the obstacle avoidance let's see if it'll actually switch around or just what it'll do Yep, it's going to turn around. Okay, did that pretty well actually. Had a little problem there, but now we're gonna go back. And I wanna check out this obstacle avoidance. I got this tree right here beside me. It's already picking it up. It's supposed to stop if you try to run into it. So let's see what it does and it stopped. Okay, so that works as well. Okay, so that's Spotlight. Spotlight's kind of nice because it'll just keep me, keep me in focus here on, in the frame all times here. So, and you have full control of the drone. I have it come down a little bit. I'm gonna have it go around in just a little bit. As you can see, it's just following me. I'm not quite centered in the frame, but I can change that. Bring the gimbal down a little bit. And I can yacht the other way a little bit. We're gonna go behind these trees. Let's see what happens. See if it picks me up on the other side or not, which I don't think it will because I'm pretty, pretty long walk here. It didn't. So, whoop. Gotta stop that one. See if it'll pick this one up. Okay, we'll get right in the center here. Spotlight again. And they'll follow me around this path, so we'll just follow around. We're in 3X mode now. Let's see what this girl does with 3X. I'm gonna back up just a little bit. There, does it still have me? Still got me. All right, this is in telephoto lens, or 3X. Let's just see what it does there. Just following me. And I'm gonna turn here as we go through all this. Oop, kind of lost me. It did lose me. What the heck? There, it picked me back up. Huh. Yeah, it lost me going through these bushes. See if it'll pick me up again. There, it did. Doesn't have me real well, but it does, it does have me. 
Okay, that's 3x. We'll stop here. All right, we're going to switch it now to to point of interest, and this will be just a circle. We're going to go. I want to see what it does. It's supposed to go up over the top of things here. It's trying. There it goes. And the point of interest will keep you locked. At least it should. If I walk past here. There, now it's going. You can raise altitude, gain altitude. So I'm going to do a little bit because now I'm going to pull out just a little. Bring me into the frame a little bit more. Should. I'm going to go up. There. Now that's point of interest. So it basically just stays locked on you and does this circle at whatever speed you want. So, okay, and it'll just keep doing that. All right. Now I think I'm going to try this in 3x as well. 3x. Back up just a little bit. We're going to go ahead and draw a circle around me. That's 3x. We're going to start recording. We're going to go PO and we're going to go. This is going to be a pretty slow rotation, but we'll see what it does. Is it not going? It's having a tough time here for some reason. And you can speed that up a little bit, which I'm going to do now. And you can go out. Subject too far away, it says. Okay, we'll bring it in a little. And as you can see, it just circles around you. If you want, you can go this way. Let's see what it does. There, pretty much at the top of this hill here. And just let it go around here. And let it come down a little. I'm going to reverse again. I'll go a little faster this time. Stop, point of interest again. I'm gonna go this way fairly fast and go. And that's with 3x. Come back this way again. going to say it's let's go up here it should come right around on me okay good that works and the avoidance does work so everything's working now we're going to go active track go to the right let's go this way and go and now we're in active track and we're in, I am on 3x. I'm gonna move back just a little bit. And the drone should stay 
off to the front and right of me. Now we're going to come down. Okay, it's sensing the obstacles, so that's working. Okay, as I turn around this bend, making it pretty tough on this thing, but it's working. Okay, now we're gonna do this. Now we're gonna stop there, we're gonna stop here. We're gonna go 2X, we're gonna bring the drone in a little bit. I got some trees coming up here. really what I want to see and will go right behind me now it's gonna go behind me we have some bushes up here I want to see what it does when I get there and as you can hear oops as you can hear it's beeping pretty good so see how we're doing here turn this corner Let's see what the drone does okay it kind of went around him it's following me now I'm gonna switch this so you click on that little guy and you go to the right now the drone will switch around and go off to the right of me the reason I'm doing this here is because I've got these shrubs or these bushes coming up and I want to see what it's going to do when it gets there so it's right off to the side of me and it should go around these I hope let's see what it does it's going up over the top of them so that's working so that's good So it's staying where it's supposed to. We'll hit the little man again and we're gonna go there. Now it's off to the right front of me. We hit this again and we're gonna go front. Now the drone is making its move. Now it's in front of me. So that's working really well. Let's see what it does when I curve around this turn here. Okay, did just fine there too. Okay, now we're gonna go again. We're gonna go to the left. We'll see what it does because it's hill over here. Staying there. Go off to the rear left or back left. See what that does. That's a, actually a pretty nice shot with the drone following you like that. I don't have a whole lot of battery left here, but we're gonna go ahead and go here. We'll see what it does over here. We do have some obstacles coming up. We're gonna find out. Okay, we're gonna go up over the top, around. What's it gonna do? Come on, make your decision. It's going around, is it gonna pick me back up? It's trying, it lost me. I probably should have stayed walking there and it probably would. Okay, let's, let's keep going here. Whoops, it did, it shut it all off. Active track, let's go there and let's go. We're gonna come in a little. Okay, let's go around this tree. Let's see what this one does. Okay, this time it went around the tree. It did stay with me. It doesn't have a problem with that, so that's good. So I think the obstacle avoidance stuff is working really good on this. If you made it this far, thanks. The video got a little long on me, but I felt that's what needed to be done in order to work through the focus track feature on this drone. Now for the review, and I'll make it quick. 
The Focus Track feature on this drone works great, and the Active Track 5.0 is better than the old 3.0 I had on my Air 2. And the obstacle avoidance system, what can I say? It works. And what can you say about the 3X or the telephoto lens? Except, what a nice addition to this drone. The only cons I have is that the Active Track didn't work very well on my friend's motorcycle in the shorts video I did, and Spotlight seemed to work better in that scenario. My next video will be Master Shots, and it will be much shorter, I guarantee it. There's only one left after that for the intelligent flight modes, and that is Quick Shots. My score goes up again for this Air 3 to 9.75 out of 10. That's it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe, like, and notification button. Share and leave me a comment. Thanks for watching, and as always, be safe, fly safe, and have a great day.